Hi, I'm Alex and I built this. So you might be wondering what exactly you're looking at here. This is a high bandwidth multi-camera system with PCI Express. In my last video I already talked about how PCI Express is a great way to connect the camera to your system. If you have not seen my previous video, I recommend going back now and watching it. So you can follow all the details in this video. So you already know that PCI Express offers a lot of bandwidth. But you may be asking yourself, well, what can I do with all that bandwidth? And the answer is, you can connect more cameras. Because having more cameras is always better. So to find out how this works, let's go back a few minutes. So my task for today is simple. Just connect some cameras to this PC, run them all at the same time at their full resolution and see if I can still get the full frame rate. Sounds easy enough. So as the host system, we're using this PC here. It's built from standard components and you can find the full specs in the description below. The only slight complication here is that this has a mini ITX motherboard. So we only have one PCI Express slot, but we will make it work. So as you can see, this PC has a number of USB ports. One, two, three, four. And we're not counting those below here because those are USB 2 ports and we need USB 3 for the cameras. So let's just connect some cameras. So I've connected four USB 3 cameras to this system and they are all running at 75 frames per second. So quick side note here, I actually didn't expect this to run so well um, because on many systems the USB 3 ports actually share their bandwidth. So you may not be able to get four cameras running at their full speed with just the built-in USB ports. Okay, so this is running great, but I want to connect more cameras because having more cameras is always better. So I need more ports to connect cameras. The standard approach would be to just go with more USB 3 ports and there's actually an easy solution for that. This simple card goes into a PCI Express slot and provides four full speed USB 3 ports. Let's take a closer look at it. Each of these four USB ports is connected to its own USB controller. These USB controllers are PCI Express devices and each PCI Express device needs a PCI Express link to be connected to the system's CPU. Now here comes the tricky part. We cannot just wire those controllers up directly to the PCI Express slot because this PCI Express slot only provides one PCI Express link and we actually need four for these four controllers. To deal with this, the four USB controllers are connected to another chip. This is a PCI Express switch. The PCI Express switch aggregates the four one-lane links to the controllers to one four-lane link that goes through the PCI Express slot. Note that there is technically some bandwidth sharing, but since it is a four-lane PCI Express link, it has more than enough bandwidth for these USB connections. Now, I could just install this card, connect up to four more USB cameras, and that's it. That would be the standard solution. But now, let's go beyond the standard. As you can see, this adapter card uses four PCI Express lanes, but it would block my full 16 lane PCI Express slot. Since I only have that one slot, I could never connect more than eight cameras to the system. Also, in the last video, you saw that you can connect cameras directly to PCI Express. So we don't even need those four USB controllers. All we need is a PCI Express switch that lets us connect multiple cameras to our one PCI Express slot. So we built just that. This is the X switch. But the X switch is not just this one device. It's a much bigger idea. It's a concept that can be custom fitted to meet your requirements. We have created some generic options, but we're also happy to talk to you about custom solutions for your application. On this particular X switch, you can use flat flex cables to connect the cameras. There are six connections for the larger four lane cameras and four connectors for 
the smaller two-lane PCI Express cameras. On top of that, we also included the four USB controllers you saw on the adapter card before. With these, you can connect four more USB cameras, either through also flat flex cables, or you can also use the four standard USB ports on the device. You can not only connect cameras there, you can basically connect any USB device you want. To give you some more flexibility, we're using an external PCI Express connection, so you can put the X switch wherever it's needed in your application. In this case, we are using an eight lane PCI Express connection through a single cable. On the PC side, we can use an adapter card like this one to connect up to two X switches with eight lanes each. So you can potentially use the full 16 lanes of bandwidth that we have in that slot. So let's quickly put together a system with some cameras. So now we are where we were at the beginning of the video. All the cameras are running simultaneously at their full frame rate. So the smaller cameras here are very similar to the USB cameras that we also have here. Um, the main difference is that they use PCI Express and therefore have twice the bandwidth with two PCI Express lanes. So you can run them at much faster frame rates. This larger camera here is using four lanes of PCI Express. So we can get 8K footage at 30 FPS while all the other, other cameras are still running. And if I just start this camera now, you can see that it runs flawlessly. The X switch here also supplies power to all of the cameras and it can also deal with all the trigger signals to and from the cameras, which will greatly help you with synchronization but that's probably a topic for another day. So that's everything I wanted to show you today. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below in the comment section. And I will see you next time.